Hello amazing dropshippers and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Lara and in today's video I'll be providing you with 11 steps in order to become a successful dropshipper in 2022. These are the following topics that I'll be touching base on in this guide so make sure to stay tuned. These topics include how to find dropshipping products, what dropshipping supplies to choose, which selling channels you should be hosting your dropshipping store on, finding dropshipping automation tools, how to create your website, how to import products, how to set up your finances, how to do online marketing, how to fulfill your orders, how to provide exceptional customer service, and how to multiply your success when dropshipping. So what are we waiting for? Let's do a quick intro and get straight into it. All right, so let's begin this guide, how to become a dropshipper in 2022, a full guide. Do not forget that if you don't feel like reading this article on our blog page, you can just have a listen at the audio that we've now embedded in our articles and you can press play and it will basically read the entire article for you. Okay, so let's go over the most obvious question. What is dropshipping and how does it work? So let's take a look at our three-step model over here. We have the first step being your your store customer purchases a product from your store so keep in mind that this is now your drop shipping store that's either on the selling platform Facebook marketplace eBay Shopify or Wix then we have a look at step number two which is our suppliers we then go to our suppliers website and purchase the exact product that our customer ordered at wholesale price which would be a hundred dollars and then we have step number three which says customer so this would be the shipment of the product from the supplier's warehouse straight to your customer's location the buyer receives the product and you keep the profit which is fifty dollars now it's time to explore the essential steps that you need to know in order to become a successful drop shipper in 2022 okay so our first step is to finding profitable drop shipping products and we can do this through the four following strategies AliExpress Dropshipping Center, Supplier Product Research, Competitor Product Research, and AutoDS Product Research Tool. So let's first take a look at what AliExpress Dropshipping Center has to offer us. So AliExpress Dropshipping Center is a dropshipping platform that provides specific product analytics such as sales performance. So with this information in mind, we're able to discover the best selling products that will assist us in converting leads into sales. Another strategy that we can employ is by taking a look at the top sellers and new releases that suppliers list on their websites. For example, we can go to Amazon's Movers and Shakers. So if we go to Amazon, their top selling category is called Movers and Shakers. And these are their biggest gainers in sales ranked over the past 24 hours updated hourly. So we can have a look over here and we can see which products are trending within their various niches. Like over here, we have the baby niche. Then we have clothing, shoes, and jewelry niche. And we can see what products are ranking under there and this will generally give us an idea of what products we should be stocking in our drop shipping stores and what products consumers are currently interested in buying besides the method i've just shown you for amazon we can also uncover what products work best for other sellers by conducting competitor research on the various selling channels the selling channels can be ebay shopify and wix and facebook marketplace so let's now take a look at how we're able to conduct competitor research on eBay as a selling channel. Okay, so first things first, we're going to head over to eBay. And let's say, for example, my dropshipping business is all about selling crystals individually in packages as gift sets. So let's take a look at what sellers are offering for crystals. Wow, okay, so we have more than 660 plus results for crystals. And I mean, I just checked this yesterday, so it's gone up. It was on 640,000 and it's gone up by extra 20K. So that's very interesting. And we can see all the various crystals that sellers are listing for their customers. Because I'm doing competitor research, I want to see which are in fact the, the crystals that are selling and the crystals that customers are wanting to buy. So I'm going to head down over here to show only and I'm going to 
filter out completed and sold items. It completely filters out all the other crystal products and it only shows me the crystals that have been sold and at what price point as well. It's very important to note the various price points. I mean, for example, you can see here this bracelet uh, costs 140. The Jasper crystal will cost 190. So doing things like this, especially when you're filtering out the sold items, it helps you to understand what are the recent purchases from your customer and at what price point they are buying it at. Next up, let's take a look at how we're able to conduct competitor research for both Shopify and Wix selling channels. For Shopify and Wix, we can utilize the Koala Inspector to uncover the success behind other dropshipping stores. And yes, you can do that! By using this tool, you're able to get hold of other sellers' metrics such as product sales, marketing strategies, and reliable suppliers. Finally, with the help of the Koala Inspector, you're able to get fresh product ideas and also test their sales potential in your drop shipping stores. If these items do perform well in your online store, you can add similar variations in order to maximize your profits. Let's now take a look at how we're able to conduct competitor research on Facebook Marketplace. Because Facebook Marketplace is a new drop shipping platform, we simply just have to list our best sellers in our niche from our suppliers. In turn, we'll get free organic traffic and sales if the product is in demand. We can also drive free organic traffic when customers visit our stores upon finding our listing or page in the search engine results. In addition to this, Facebook Marketplace has low competition, so selling the right items and products will likely lead to massive sales for you. And to conclude our list of the best product research strategies, we have the AutoDS product research tool, an easy to use product finding software for dropshippers. So let's head over to the AutoDS platform and see what this product research tool is all about. Okay, so we are in our account and the first place we're going to go to is up here and we're going to click on product research. And over here, we have all the latest trending products that AutoDS has gathered for us to sell. So I'm going to click into a random trending product, let's say this boot. So here we can see all the information pertaining to the specific trending product, such as the product reviews, how much the item costs, how much you will be selling the item for, the warehouse that it will be shipped from, the various sizes that it comes in, the various colors that it comes in, how long the shipment will take, the product information, the specifications, the policy, as well as the product reviews. And if I'd like to add this trending product to my store, all I have to do is just click import products. Easy as that. Don't forget that you're also able to see the product category, the product source, where the product is sourced from, where it is listed on, the product ID, as well as the product title. A quick tip when looking for products to sell, avoid selling trademarked or illegal products since they go against intellectual property rights and e-commerce community policies. So now that we know what competitor research strategies as well as what product research tools to be using, let's now take a look at which dropshipping suppliers you should be working with. When choosing our suppliers, we should look out for the following attributes. Top quality products. Remember that the standard of our products speaks about the quality of our business. Therefore, we should only dropship products that we know will satisfy our customers' preferences. The next feature that we should be on the lookout for is the shipping speed of dropshipping suppliers. The shipping times depend on many factors such as the origin and the destination of the warehouses which stock these products. Regardless of anything though, we should ensure that our suppliers are able to deliver our customers' orders within the most reasonable time possible. Buyers expect to receive outstanding customer service in exchange for their shopping expenses they made at your store. So. It's only fair. With this in mind, we have to work with suppliers who can offer excellent customer service to dropshippers. 
take note that the kind of service that we receive is the same service we extend to our customers. Another feature that we should address efficiently are concerns related to returns and refunds. We should thoroughly check our suppliers policies on returns and refunds so that we're able to be transparent with our customers and they are fully aware of these guidelines. If your dropshipping supplier meets all these requirements, then hooray! You're guaranteed customer satisfaction and long-term success for your dropshipping business. So our next topic is working with multiple dropshipping suppliers. And this is quite an interesting topic too because I recently ran a poll on both our Facebook community as well as our YouTube community page where I'd ask dropshippers, do you work with multiple dropshipping suppliers? And towards the end of the poll, I'd actually found that 47 to 69% of dropshippers do not work with multiple dropshipping suppliers. So that's quite interesting to see. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see a full YouTube guide on how to work with multiple dropshipping suppliers. To maximize our dropshipping stores processes, we should be working with multiple dropshipping suppliers. Working with multiple dropshipping suppliers ensures that your business is constantly running smoothly and efficiently. So how would we go about all of this? Well, one way to do this is by sourcing different products from several dropshipping suppliers so that we're able to offer a variety of items to sell to our customers in our stores. Also, when sourcing products from multiple dropshipping suppliers, you have more free reign on selecting shipping arrangements and return policies. As I've mentioned previously in this video, that quick shipping times and practical return policies are crucial for your business. And if we're able to fulfill customers' expectations, well then, we've just gained a new loyal customer to our customer base. So let's take a look at the three excellent dropshipping suppliers if you're wanting to work with multiple suppliers. So our first supplier is AliExpress, which is a China-based dropshipping supplier known for its vast selection of over 100 million products on site. This dropshipping platform boasts competitive prices, low competition, and global shipping. So as a result, working with this dropshipping supplier will help you to gain sales in no time. Our second supplier is Amazon, which is one of the largest organizations based in the US that offers millions of product choices under various niches. Amazon provides an impressive two-day shipping in the US and extends superb customer support to its clients. So many dropshippers trust Amazon because of its reliable products and services it offers. Our third supplier is Banggood, a dropshipping friendly supplier that offers low prices for thousands of trending items. Banggood is also a one-stop shop that covers a vast selection of niches and it has low market competition. Therefore, sourcing products from this supplier will help you to gain significant profits in no time. So let's move on to our next step, which is step three, and that is selecting a selling channel so that you're able to offer the products you'd like to sell to your customers. So generally, we have two types of selling channels. The first type would be marketplaces, and the second type would be customizable websites. So marketplaces are existing websites where we can just add our products for sale. Meanwhile, customizable websites allow us to build our stores from scratch, enabling a customized domain name. Keep in mind that both selling channels offer global audience targeting, which means that we can reach customers all over the world. So let's have a look at what are the best selling platforms in the drop shipping scene. Our first selling platform is eBay. eBay was the world's second most visited marketplace in 2021. They experienced over 1.7 billion visits. So what are the pros and cons that we can expect from this selling platform? Well, for one, it's free organic traffic due to the millions of users on its website. So that means many customers can see our stores. eBay also offers sellers free accounts, which allows them to list up to 250 products without additional charges. If you'd like to increase your listings, you're able to choose from any eBay subscription plan. However, dropshipping on eBay entails expensive selling fees and less store customization options. The significant market competition on 
eBay can sometimes hinder us from maximizing our profits. Another excellent selling channel is Shopify. Working with this popular sales platform can provide you with the following advantages and disadvantages. Unlike eBay, Shopify allows you to fully customize your store. It also enables us to list thousands and thousands of products without any limits. Shopify allows you to also collect your customers' information, such as their email addresses whenever they visit your store or click on one of your promotional ads. Later, you're then able to use your customers' contact details to your advantage for email marketing. Behind these benefits, Shopify also has its own disadvantages one of which is no organic traffic on Shopify's websites. In order to manage this issue, we need to allocate a marketing budget towards paid advertising. This will help to drive traffic to your store and you're able to track your advertisement analytics to see what is and what is not working. Lastly, Shopify offers you a free trial account, but you'd have to pay for a monthly subscription plan once this free trial ends. Next up, we have Facebook Marketplace, which hosts about 200 and 50 million active stores globally. These are the following pros and cons of this new dropshipping marketplace. Facebook Marketplace has low competition and there are no subscription fees as long as you have an active Facebook account. The great thing about Facebook Marketplace is that it provides personalized product suggestions to its customers depending on their needs and preferences, which is of course helping us to scale our drop shipping business. The only disadvantage about Facebook Marketplace is that it only serves the US market. So if you do not hold a US citizenship, sorry. Our last selling platform that we're going to discuss is Wix, which is home to about 200 million sellers worldwide. This e-commerce website creation tool offers dropshippers the following perks and drawbacks. A primary advantage of working with Wix is that there are no selling limits. This means that we can list endless products in our stores every dropshipper's dream. Plus, we're also able to customize our stores in order to provide the utmost user-friendly and convenient shopping experience for our customers. Wix also offers numerous design templates when customizing your shop. Another benefit that Wix offers is its low startup investment. So creating your Wix account in the beginning is free, but over time you'll begin paying charges for connecting your domain name or removing ads from your page. You're also able to settle payments through flexible payment methods such as PayPal and credit cards. The only downside to Wix is that there is no organic traffic. So as a result, we would have to incorporate effective marketing techniques so that our customers would be able to find our stores. Let's hop straight over to step number four, which would be to find a dropshipping automation tool. So now that you're aware of what dropshipping supplies you should be working with and which selling channel to host your store on, it's now time to automate our dropshipping business. So as you all know, you're able to manage your dropshipping business either manually or automatically. So when you run a dropshipping business manually, it requires you to purchase your customer's orders from your supplier's websites. Then you'll have to insert your customer's details one by one. With that being said, you'll also have to manually monitor and give updates on the orders from time to time. And that is why automation is here to help us eliminate the stressful and tedious process of manually managing every transaction. Not only that, a dropshipping automation tool allows us to scale our business because it takes care of the day-to-day -day operations. And because of this, we as dropshippers will be able to dedicate our time to providing exceptional customers service and marketing. So where do we find this automation software in the dropshipping scene? Well, look no further. AutoDS is a top grade automation software that can automate the following processes. So our first process would be the product research, which I discussed earlier in this video. And you're able to conduct the product research with our convenient tool to find the best selling and top quality products. So let's go through it one more time. Let's head over to our AutoDS platform. Let's go to product research. So we have all products and these are all the trending products. See, it's changed compared to when I was last on here. And then we also have the popular products. And then we also have the new products. 
as well as holiday products. So essentially you have four different genres to explore to conduct your product research through. Okay, let's head back to the guide. So once we have the products in mind, we can then utilize the AutoDS automated importing methods to add products to our stores. So let's head back to our platform and let's go to a popular product. Right, what do we have here? Some jade pebbles, okay. So I think I'm going to import some jade pebbles. So let's click on it. So we can see all the products information and now I can just import the product straight to my store. Now I'm in my drafts, go straight to import, import this item to your store and to the products page. There we have it, jade pebble for plants started to import. Another really cool thing with AutoDS is that we can add and import single products or multiple products to multiple stores from our supplies website. So for example, I'm gonna head over to Amazon and earlier I showed you some of the crystals. So let's have a look. So let's go with this very cool pyramid crystal in AutoDS. We can add the product from our supplies website with the URL or a product ID. So I'm just going to grab the URL and I'm going to paste it and then we have an option edit now quick or publish to store so everything that you see here the description the images the title all of that will show on your store too so if you'd like to change some stuff around we can click edit now okay and there we have it so there is the product title as you can see it's the same as what we can see on Amazon over here, the location, the tags, the shipping methods. So it's imported literally everything that you've seen on this product page straight into our stores. You also have the option to edit the product description and we also have the images as well as item specifications. And I think I'm happy with everything. So I'm going to save and import it straight to my store. What I just did for a single product, you can also do for multiple products. You have the option of the URLs or IDs, or you can upload as a CSV too. Our dropshipping solution also offers auto automation that automatically collects and forwards your customer's details from your store directly to your supplier. How cool is that? We also provide price and stock monitoring that tracks prices and stocks on your supplier side to ensure that your business is constantly optimized. So with all this automation information in mind, you're able to jumpstart your dropshipping business with AutoDS for only $1. Let's move on to step number five, which is creating your own dropshipping website. A dropshipping website is an online platform where you sell your products and present your business information. So let's explore the different dropshipping websites for our business. First up, we have Facebook Marketplace websites. As one of the most popular dropshipping platforms, Facebook Marketplace offers its users free account signups. Although we cannot create a storefront, the platform has a new feature called Facebook Shops, which AutoDS will soon integrate with. So by using this new feature, Facebook Shops, you can optimize your dropshipping store with business automation whilst also customizing it to fit our brand. Therefore, soon enough, we'll be able to have a storefront on Facebook. Next up, we have eBay dropshipping websites. Just like Facebook Marketplace, eBay also provides free seller account registrations. We can also customize our storefronts and add featured products to our eBay stores. eBay also allows you to add a cover image, logo, featured categories and other relevant information to help boost your sales. Next up, we have Shopify and Wix dropshipping websites. Even though these are excellent e-commerce platforms, driving organic traffic to our websites can be challenging. We have more potential to increase our profit margins by incorporating the proper branding solutions to our stores. Before our buyers can check out our stores, we have to make sure that we set up the following. Front pages, product pages, business policies, return policies, and various shipping options. Having all this information presented on our dropshipping websites will help our customers to understand how our dropshipping business works. So our next step would be to import your products. I did go through this in step four, 
where I discussed how you're able to import your products, but we're briefly going to go through it again. So after setting up our dropshipping websites, which I've just discussed in the previous step, it's now time to start importing our products. And we also now know that there are two product import methods. We have the manual, method and we have the automatic method. So with a manual import method, we have to copy and download our products information one by one from our suppliers websites, then paste and upload these texts and images to our selling channels. And by doing this process, it's just very time consuming and it consumes a lot of our efforts as well. Then we also have the automatic import method. So this dropshipping tool enables the automation of importing products, which I showed you in step number four. So because of this dropshipping tool, you will now be able to automatically transfer products information from your suppliers page to our selling channels through a dropshipping platform. So because this automatic dropshipping software does the process for us, importing becomes faster and way easier. So we have the one click importer, which is basically this. We're going to go into our AutoDS platform, product research. Let's say I would like to add this beanbag chair cover. And all I have to do is just click import product. It'll go to your drafts. You can click here. And once you've reached the draft folders, you'll see beanbag chair cover, which is what I'd like to add and I'm just going to click import. Add it to our stores, great stuff. So our second importing method is the single product upload, which allows you to add one product URL or ID at a time. So let's have a look at how we're able to do this. We're going to head back to our AutoDS platform, click on add products, and then you'll see single product import one product to one store. Let's click on that. So now I need to get the product URL that I'd like to publish to my store. I'm going to head to Amazon. Let's say I'd like to sell this croc. All right, so now I have the product URL and I'm going to head back to our AutoDS platform, paste it in, and now you'll see you'll be able to edit now, which means that you can optimize on top of what is already given. So you can optimize the title if you'd like, you can optimize the images, you can optimize the description. If you feel that what you've seen on the product page is enough and you feel that you don't need to change anything, then you can just click publish to store. And there we have it, items is being added to your stores. If you would like to edit the product, we can just click edit now. Under this section, we're able to optimize the listing once again, we can change the title, we can change the tags, or we can add more tags to what is already given. We can choose the country location. We can choose the description. Um, would you like to edit the product description? The images, are there any images that you'd like to take out? And then also item specifications. So ideally, if you'd like to edit the product, it just means that you'd like to just optimize on top of what has already been given to you. So next up, we have multiple product URLs and IDs as well as bulk products. So let's briefly look at how we can, we're able to do this. So we're going to head back to our AutoDS platform, click add products. And here we have multiple product stores, import multiple products together. We're going to click on that. And let's say, let's head back to our Amazon products. I want to import this jellyfish lava lamp. I'm going to click on the URL, head back to the platform, paste it. And another product that I'd like to add is a Himalayan salt lamp. So let's click on that. And I'm going to copy my product URL. I'll head back and paste it in. Okay, we're going to add in one more product. So it will be three products in total. Copy the product URL, I'll head back, paste it in. And now I'm going to say add as a draft. Items is being added to drafts. Click here to track the progress. And there we go. We have the natural Himalayan salt lamp, the Moonology Oracle cards, and the jellyfish lava lamp, which are all added through the multiple products, import multiple products together. So now that we it's in the drafts, let's import it live to our stores. And if we have a look on the top over here, it will show you the import products that are in progress. So we have one finished, one finished, and we're just waiting for the last product to upload, which is finished. Let's take a look how it looks. Our item is now live. Easy as that, folks. So before we move on to marketing our products and gaining high sales, we first need to sort out our finances, which brings me to our next step, step seven, setting up your finances. Here are the financial processes that we have to complete for our drop shipping business. 
The first one is business registration. And the common question we receive is, do you have to register your dropshipping business? When you're establishing your e-commerce venture, it's best to check your region's local policies in order to know whether or not you should register your dropshipping business. Next up, we have tax obligations. Is it necessary to pay for VAT and other dropshipping taxes? Well, when running a dropshipping store, you need to fulfill several tax obligations. For example, you need to collect sales taxes under the following conditions. When the country where your business is operating in requires such tax. As well as a customer who purchases something from your store who shares the same state residence as you. In particular, marketplaces such as eBay automatically charge sale taxes on purchases and then deduct this amount from dropshippers. However, the collection of these sales taxes varies from one region to another. To avoid any confusion of tax obligations, it's best to rather consult with a local accountant. You can also have a look at one of our YouTube videos that Liran, our content manager, posted. He gave a full guide on dropshipping taxes and I'll leave a link to that video in the pinned comment down below. Alright, let's move on to step 8 which is online marketing. So in order to drive traffic to our stores through online marketing, we can utilize several marketing strategies depending on our selling channels, of course. So let's have a look at Wix and Shopify. Since Shopify and Wix receive minimal organic traffic, we need to strategize how to market our stores on these selling platforms carefully. To achieve this, we can utilize the following marketing methods. Our first one is PPC ads, which is pay per click. So PPC ads refer to promoting our store or product on Facebook, Google, or YouTube. In PPC campaigns, we pay every time a customer clicks on our ads on these platforms, Google, Facebook, or YouTube. It's essential to keep in mind that we need to set aside a marketing budget for something like this. Not only is this a worthwhile investment, but it will also produce positive long-term results for our stores. Another effective marketing technique that we can use is email marketing. This marketing technique utilizes emails in order to reach our current customers or target new customers. Keep in mind that this strategy requires an initial audience in order to establish your customer base. So how would we retrieve email addresses in order to do email marketing? Well, we'll be able to do this by offering discounts and newsletter subscriptions. For example, if customers subscribe to your newsletter, you automatically gain their email addresses. Next, we're going to be speaking about some of the online marketing techniques for eBay. So eBay generally receives a large number of organic traffic to its selling platform. So let's see how we can further boost our audience by utilizing the following marketing strategies. First up, we have Promoted Listing Standard, and this provides sponsored placements all over eBay, increasing the visibility of our products to customers. Keep in mind, though, that an eBay seller must have enough account activities in order to utilize this marketing technique. And although this marketing technique helps to increase our product's visibility, we have no control or say over where our ads are placed. We also have Promoted Listings Advanced, and this allows us to compete for higher ranks on eBay search results. So when customers search for keywords related to our products, our products could be the ones that pop up first on the search results. So through this marketing technique, we have more control over where to place our ads and to whom to offer our product listings too. And last but not least, let's discuss the marketing techniques for Facebook Marketplace. So similar to eBay, Facebook Marketplace provides us with a massive amount of organic traffic to take advantage of. There are various ways to promote our products on Facebook. We can do this through Facebook promotions, such as boosting our listings or promoting our pages. And we can post our products on several buy and sell groups on Facebook. Generally, posting ads on these groups are cost-free and straightforward. Woohoo! You made your first sale. So what would be the next step? Step nine is to fulfill your orders. After your customers place their orders, you need to fulfill them immediately. There are two ways to go about this, the manual or automatic order fulfillment. So as you know, when manually fulfilling orders, you need to purchase the items from your supplier's websites. Then you need to input all your customer's shipping details upon checkout. 
Doing this process manually consumes both time and it entails risks. You can easily make mistakes by inserting the wrong information, such as your customer's address, their telephone number, or their email address. All this will do is cause frustration amongst our customers, which will probably result in them never ordering from our stores again. To save ourselves from this, we can utilize automation tools. AutoDS's dropshipping tool automatically fulfills orders on our behalf by using automated order fulfillment. This software provides timely updates on customers' demands. And by knowing these updates, we'll know what steps to take next. So let's have a look at AutoDS's two efficient automatic solutions. Our first one is Fulfilled by AutoDS. This remarkable feature allows for 100% automation of order fulfillment through AutoDS's supported suppliers. To utilize the service, all we have to do is load our balance in our AutoDS account. Then once loaded, the program will automatically process customers' orders and provide tracking information no matter what time of the day it is. We also have the AutoDS automatic ordering system that requires our buyer's accounts when fulfilling customers' orders. It buyer account uses our payment methods such as credit cards or bank transfers when processing our orders from suppliers. You'll be able to find both automation tools on your AutoDS dashboard and you'll be able to monitor updates regularly. This is a great way to ensure customer satisfaction and you'll just be able to sit back, kick your feet up, relax and watch your sales grow. Let us take a look at step 10, which is customer service. As we know, delivering optimal customer service to our customers is a critical aspect of every business. We need to establish good relationships with our customers and provide them with the best shopping experience possible. When you provide an optimal customer experience, not only do you build a loyal customer base, but you also gain positive feedback, which increases your brand's credibility. So let's Let's take a look at some of the tips for managing your store's customer support. Always answer your customers' messages and inquiries daily. Always make sure to look after these returns or replacements and make sure to send these replacements or refunds on time. Make sure that no customers' messages goes unanswered. I mean, there's nothing worse than being ignored, especially when you've purchased something from somebody. Also, offer promotions when your customers reach out. It will improve their chances from purchasing something from your store again. AutoDS also provides a customer service solution for eBay sellers. With this feature, dropshippers can efficiently manage, track, and answer customer queries and cases all under one screen. And finally, dropshippers, we have reached the last step in this guide, which which is step 11, how to multiply your success. Scaling your business will multiply your success and here are some tips on exactly how to do that. To begin with, we can use the AutoDS tagging system to help us track which are the top selling products or collections. Also, remember to add more products to those products that are selling well in your store. We can also replace or remove slow movers and items that require high return rates. Also, remember that you need to allocate a higher daily budget for scaling ads. Don't forget to also track the ROAS, return on ad spend, in order to find that sweet spot. On the other hand of this, also discontinue ads that do not convert to sales. Lastly, keep listing in-demand items using automated importing methods. Bear in mind, the more in-demand products you list, the more sales you'll make. Do not forget that we also upload monthly product finds on our YouTube channel. This helps dropshippers to know which products they should be listing in their dropshipping stores for that particular month. While dropshippers, give yourselves a pat on the back for completing this guide. You are now confidently equipped with proper knowledge in order to become a dropshipper. All you have to do is apply these steps and take the first step to establishing your dropshipping business. Start searching for those trending products and start adding them to your online stores by using the proper automation tools. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this guide and how it has assisted you on your drop shipping journey. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up too if you appreciated the valuable information. Don't forget to also hit that subscribe button so you can always stay up to date with what's happening in the drop shipping scene. It was a pleasure presenting this guide to you drop shippers. All the best with your dropshipping journey and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now!